Hey guys, welcome back to Die Cash Reviews. So this is a review on Marty Holler, the next gen Walmart Holler that was released uh, first, I'd say around 2022, maybe uh, late 2021, mid, I think mid 2022 was the first time it was um, released. But uh, obviously, they've been re releasing it a lot as they tend to do with these Walmart Hollers. Now, obviously, this is the second uh, Walmart hauler to be released after Wally Hauler here, who was released, I think, all the way back in, what, 2009, 2010, and has been re-released basically every year. I think even in Cars 3, when 2017, he's been re-released every year since then. Um, 271st day of 2009 is when this one was made, so this would be a 2010 release um, for this particular Walmart hauler here, but... Uh, obviously, it's a partnership that Mattel does with the Walmart uh, stores because Walmart stores are the only ones that carry haulers nowadays. So, you just released the Walmart hauler um, in cases with the other haulers. Um, obviously, they don't do a lot of new haulers nowadays. They tend to just re-release the same old like Mac, uh, maybe Chick Hicks hauler if you're lucky, but it's usually Mac and the Dynaco hauler and they throw in another one in there. Uh, Paul Conrad's hauler, I think, has been released a bit. So, obviously, this was a pretty nice surprise. Uh, pretty nice, not surprise, but pretty nice, uh, you know, release when they first released it back in 2022. But, obviously, it's going to get a little bit stale, just like, you know, Wally hauler here has gotten over the past uh, 13 years or so. Uh, but, obviously, the Walmart haulers all do come with the three Rusty's kind of boxes shown here. We'll take a look at them uh, when I open it up. But, there's a nice stock image. And yeah, obviously, a fictional release did not appear in any movie or short. Uh, Wally Holler did actually appear in an advertisement and had a speaking role, uh, but he was in a different paint job. He was back when Walmart was still had their old uh, logo, like that dark blue logo. Now he had that paint job in the advertisement because that obviously came out before the Holler did. So, anyways, I'll be back with Marty out of the package. Here's Marty Holler out of the package. And he looks very nice, um, as the next-gen haulers tend to do. So, uh, let's take a look. I guess we'll just... I've already kind of <laughs> taken this off. Um, so, I'll just take a look at the cab first. This is obviously the only metal part of the hauler. The trailer is plastic, as they've done for all the haulers since when they first released haulers. It's always been cab is metal, uh, back is plastic. But uh, it's still a good hunk of metal you get with the hauler. So, anyways, you've got the kind of next-gen smug expression is what I like to call it. Um, most of these next-gen haulers kind of have, it kind of looks like a smug expression. I think Marty's probably the best, but uh, if you look, I've especially Gail Buffer and I think the Paul Conrad hauler, they have very kind of smug expression. So, uh, Marty, a little bit different, but it also kind of looks a bit like a smug expression there. Um, but you've got the grill, and it's nice because it's indented. Um so it goes along there. It's indented, so that's pretty cool. Um, we've got the Walmart star here on the cap. Um, obviously, that would be a place where a normal hauler would have a sponsor. Yes, Walmart is the sponsor here. Um, obviously, the next gen kind of hauler shape is pretty cool. Uh, the way it kind of narrows in the front. And also got the nice kind of dish rims, I guess is what they would call it. I'm not sure, but no spokes, just... Um, clean completely through uh you've got the walmart logo here on the side as well i've seen the star and walmart got a nice little design um i mean I gl i'm glad it's not all white a bit different than the wally hauler which i'll show you is just it's completely white but this one has a little bit of a nice blue stripe there so that looks pretty nice got some indenting here for the doors and whatnot on uh, the back uh, you've got no license plate um which i think is a norm for these next-gen haulers uh but the other haulers the non-next-gen haulers had the or have the license plate down here this is all white uh which is interesting because obviously this is all metal um but on the obviously non-next-gen haulers this would be plastic um but it's all one piece here so you've got the hole here to attach the trailer and then you've got like an imitation of some mud flaps down there Nothing really to write home about there. And then here's the other side, exactly the same with the stripe and the Walmart logo. And um, yeah, the hat is plastic, by the way. Everything is metal, but the hat here is plastic for the haulers. So here is the trailer itself. Zoom out of it here. Um, it's kind of got the same design as the Marty Cab, where it's got the blue stripe here on the bottom. 
uh, which is a nice touch because, like I said, the other hauler was just white, the Wally hauler. Got the Walmart Save Money Live Better with the star, kind of their official logo right there. Um, I heard some people saying that it'd be cool if they next genified the Walmart logo or whatever for the hauler. They really can't do that for, you know, legal reasons and whatnot, and probably contractual obligation. They have to present Walmart as the company it is, not a fictional logo of Walmart. Um, because well, it's the Walmart logo. It is what it is. They have to present the Walmart logo as is. Um, and the reason Mattel kind of got unlucky here, uh, I guess in a way, but you know, obviously the Walmart hauler, Wally hauler from 10 years or 13 years ago has the same design as the current Walmart hauler, right? Or the next gen Walmart hauler. Well, that's because when the Walmart hauler was released, as I said in the opening, um, Walmart had just changed their logo. I think in 2008 is when they changed their logo from what it was, which was like a dark bluish kind of box kind of logo almost. Uh, maybe I'll pop a picture up on the screen, but that's what it was. They changed it from that to the logo they have now, and they haven't changed it for the past 13 years. So if Mattel had been, you know, had released the Wally Hauler in 2007, um, it would be very likely that they would have released it with the old Walmart logo, and then when they released this Walmart Hauler uh, here in 20. 22 obviously it would be kind of a new logo so you'd have two different logos on two different walmart haulers but again it also begs the question that you know if they had released the old walmart logo in 2007 by the time 2009 rolled around would they have changed the wally hauler to release them with the new walmart logo so there's also a possible question there but no they really can't change the walmart logo because the walmart logo has to be represented as the walmart logo on the trailer because that's what you know walmart signed up for is to have their logo, their current logo, their correct logo on the trailer. So it's unfortunate, but Mattel, it's really not Mattel's fault. They can't do much um, about it. So there you go. On the back, you've got Save Money, Live Better. Kind of a half star, I think. It's also been used on some Walmart promotion stuff. Uh, and then you've got, you do have a license plate there. You've got Marty from Walmart.com is up top. Um, but yeah, there you go. I don't think there's usually a license plate in that spot on these haulers. I think it's right in the middle. So... That's kind of a unique part about this hauler. But obviously, this side is the same. It's a very sleek, you know, very sleek-looking next-gen hauler where the wheels are completely hidden. Um, but, yeah, I think Mattel did a nice job designing, or Disney did a nice job designing the haulers. Mattel did a nice job uh, replicating them. And also glad that they finally added the sliding door on the back. Obviously, on all these haulers, all the Cars 1 haulers they released, the door opened... Um, up on the side which is not really really not really realistic so glad they changed that for the next gen haulers but there you go here's the door and there are the three boxes that the all the walmart haulers come with um it's just three paper rusties boxes but it's nice it has a little bit you know something special to the hauler a nice little accessory so you can pretend he's you know bringing some rusties um supplies over to a walmart but uh, here's the inside. Obviously, nothing special. Uh, you really wouldn't expect anything special to be. But here's obviously how the hauler works. I have a Ramon here. Uh, intro Ramon. Obviously, you roll them up. And then close it like that. And then off he goes. Um, but here is the Wally hauler from, you know, whatever, 2009. Uh... He's got the all the racing gear set up with him. And he also came with these three boxes, by the way. They were all in here like that. He's all set up with all the racing stuff. You've got the uh, tires. You've got, you know, the stuff in there. The toolbox. Uh, doesn't really make much sense because if he's hauling cargo, he's not going to have, you know, spare toolboxes in there like a piston cup hauler would. So, you know, it's kind of unrealistic. But um, I think Mattel could have, you know, maybe released a Walmart racer. Uh, with Walmart, you know, kind of, you know, they released the haulers with Walmart. Uh, why not make a special series? You know, they still could do it. I don't think they will, but it'd be really cool if they did, um, you know, release, you know, a Walmart Cars 1. You could, you could really do like a mini four car series. You could do a legend Walmart racer. You could do a Walmart, uh, stock car from Cars 1. You could do a Walmart Cars 3 stock car. You could do a Walmart next gen. That'd be really cool. Um, Something that would, you know, they it, they would sell that. I think I'm, they sell Piston Cup racers every time they release them. They would sell Walmart racers. Walmart would get, you know, their fair of share or, you know, get some money off that, get some commissions and everything, anything they sell. Obviously, they'd get money for that and Mattel would make some money there. So I, that, they're 
making money if they make those cars, but I don't think they will, which is unfortunate, but you know, it could give us a Walmart racer to go with this Cars 1 Walmart hauler. Uh, that has all the racing gear in there, obviously. So he's he's ready to haul some kind of Walmart racer. Um, but here's a comparison between the two. It's going to be kind of hard to do because it's big. But um, you can see that the color of the Walmart logo has changed a bit. You can see it's kind of like a sky blue there. And then it's kind of like a faded blue on the Cars 3 next-gen hauler. So I think, again, I think that's a Walmart thing that they changed their logo from that kind of blue color to this blue color. Um, not exactly sure, but really that's a difference there. And obviously this hauler has the blue kind of uh, stuff on the bottom there, kind of a blue stripe. Whereas like the Wally hauler, like I said, is completely white. But um, yeah, I don't know. It's an interesting question of which of these two is, you know, your favorite. Because obviously taking recency bias into account and whatnot, and the fact that Wally hauler has been on the shelves for 13 years now, I'm sure... Marty Hauler is probably going to be most people's favorite, and I, I think I'd have to go with that too, but, you know, I wonder if these two were released at the same time. Uh, would people say Marty or Wally? I think most people would still go with Marty because Wally's just not, you know, he's got the racing stuff inside, and he's very similar to a bunch of the other haulers we've got. We've got a bunch of these haulers, and we've only gotten four of the next-gen haulers, so the next-gen haulers are, you know, quite more rare and whatnot. Haven't gotten many of them, so I think most people will still go with Marty over Wally. But uh, do let me know if you like Wally uh, better than Marty. But uh, yeah, that is the review on Marty the Wally Mart next gen hauler. Uh, let me know what you guys think of him down in the comments below. Um, while you're at it, hit that like button, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.